Hello, this is Gretchen Klein with the Prince of Wales Health Network, and we're here today to talk about our fiscal year and highlight our goals and objectives, including our many activities and events that we've either supported or oversaw on the island this year. So welcome, enjoy. I'm Beverly Rivard and uh, my business is Creative Counseling Solutions and I do counseling, life coaching and consulting as part of that business. Um, I'm also the task force leader for um, the Wellness Coalition and the, I work with the Health Network as well as the Behavioral Health Consultant and I'm working specifically on Goal 1 Objective A which is our listening sessions. There are three different things happening with that. One is connect, collecting information from people in the communities about how they perceive existing services and what the needs are, but, and giving that back to the providers and agencies involved. The second one is to really be part of um, the events on, related to wellness that are going on around the island and really pay attention to what people are saying during those events and the feedback that they're giving. And then thirdly, to start to connect what the needs are with some wellness activities um, that the communities are looking for, and some of them um, island-wide um, events as well. I'm Heidi Young. I own Island Care Services and I'm from Nockety. I'm working with the Prince of Wales Health Network as a task force coordinator. Currently I'm helping with the telehealth and teleeducation task force, the healthy traditional foods task force, as well as the screen time reduction task force. Objective has been expanded to include rural training for EMS squads in many of the communities around the island. The feedback regarding the telehealth telemedicine objective has been really positive. People really like using the Zoom software. They also are really engaged and excited about more training opportunities for EMS responders. So some of the goals that have been completed from the Healthy Lifestyle Screening Tools objective, we've done an island-wide assessment on all of the healthcare agencies and behavioral health agencies that provide services. Um, we look, we've looked at their assessment tools that they had, really looking just to make sure that they have both a, a behavioral health component as well as a physical health component in their general assessments. Um, we found that 90% of all of the ones on the island that provide services do have both of those components in their assessment. For the one or two that don't, uh, we are now um, looking, providing them with services and support uh, to encourage them to add that, that missing, that basic missing uh, component maybe to their assessments. So. So over the last year, we've completed quite a bit towards the goals. We started out with a media campaign to increase the awareness of the importance of vaccination. And this is vaccination across the lifespan, not just limited to children or adults. Um, the next activity that we did is we held, at the health fair, we held an immunization clinic where we offered pneumococcal 13 vaccine and shingles vaccine to individuals who were not able to get this vaccine at any other healthcare provider on our island. At the health fair, we were able to administer 29 grant-supplied vaccines, which included pneumococcal 13 and shingles. Another way we were able to think outside the box and improve access to community members was by offering vaccinations at community events like basketball games, cross-country events. 
we've had a number of positives that have come out of this um, immunization task force and one of those is um, our providers who provide vaccinations are all collaborating together. Um, we also have all the providers that service the island are now entering their vaccines into the state immunization registry so that these clients, no matter where they go, will have their immunization records with them. As a result from task force activities and outreaches, people were able to get vaccinated where they may not have normally gone into a clinic to get their vaccines and now we're able to do it at their community and family events. objective was designed to increase awareness of traditional and local foods and the bounty of those that exist on our island. Overall, we want to create a healthy campaign to showcase the awesome foods that we have at our disposal on Prince of Wales Island. We also want to teach people how to prepare those in a healthy way and ensure health for our coming generations. In the local foods, we have worked on compiling an island-wide list of all of the local foods and activities that are going on around the island. We've decided to promote one activity per quarter to make sure that people from all reaches of the island are involved and engaged in both the planning process and also feel very comfortable in coming to the events. Reduction in screen time objective is designed to get kids um, out of their homes, away from their television, away from their electronics, away from their video games, and get them actively engaged in some sort of physical activity. We designed a survey to survey approximately 155 kids from the communities of Kalak, Nocatee, Kassan, Thorn Bay, and Heidelberg. And over the next two years, we're going to track the students hopeful reduction in screen time as we come up with a campaign to get them out of their homes. It was really awesome and eye-opening to me to see how many kids really got engaged with the swim clinics and how many kids are excited about healthy choices and healthy decision making when it comes to exercise and activity. I think it was eye-opening also to realize how much time they were already spending in front of a screen on a given day. day. Eye-opening and a little bit scary. So I think it'll be great to get kids outdoors and move towards a healthier rural community, a healthier Alaska. Hi, I'm Zach Gardner and I'm the Craig Wave Runner Swim Coach. This year we paired with the Prince of Wales Health Network in order to create a swim clinic in order to teach kids how to swim and reduce screen time and just to help them or help promote active lifestyles. So we had around 40 kids from uh, five communities around the island and around six adults participate in our swim clinics. So since I did the clinic, I decided to join the Master Swim Club here in Craig and now I'm swimming twice a week with the Masters and improving my strokes. Jaden, and I live in Nocatee and I'm in fifth grade and I'm 10 years old. I live in Nocatee so I'm really far away from the pool and it was a great opportunity to get more time to actually swim in the pool. Sustainability is an important part of the Prince Wales Health Network. In 2014, we established the Alaska Community Foundation Network Fund, and each partner committed, committed funds, and also many local businesses and donors supported this effort. We raised $55,000 that first year, and it allowed us to continue our services to the next year. Ongoing support is vital to our continuation of the Prince Wales Health Network, and allows us to continue to provide services
so the Health Network has really brought different organizations together and uh, around one table to coordinate care. And that's made a huge difference. The Prince of Wales Health Network is more than just uh, an organization. It's, it's community members, it's, it's healthcare agencies, and, and local businesses all coming together to, to promote and support um, a healthy living. Um, I've had the opportunity to help a little over 300 veterans on the island and it's been nine communities, even one being Edna Bay. And we try to get um, a service member or a surviving spouse some of the benefits that they're entitled to in the Veterans Administration.